In my last video, I talked about the cosmos and how I'm inspired by the mechanics of the solar system. Uh, in this one, I want to talk about the inspiration I get from my garden and the surrounding landscape. This is my beloved David Brown tractor, nearly as old as me, um, and uh, it's actually a necessity. We use it for mowing the meadow, but importantly, cutting these beautiful swathes uh, of grass to create the, the meander that, that leads us from one part of the meadow to another. We're lucky enough to have a stream that runs through the property. It starts above the village, uh, it coming out of the, of the hill, it's a spring. It meanders through the village in four or five little streams and then rejoins into one. It runs down the side of our field into a mill race and then into this mill pond. I can spend hours looking at this. <coughs> the, the leaves that are reflected, the, the rippling water and the, the dappled light coming through, the underside of the leaves have this beautiful colour and it's like a sort of a, an oil painting that's constantly moving, looking through a fractured prism. Escher uh, did some beautiful paintings of uh, reflected light, leaves, water. And it is, it's absolutely beautiful. And to, to try and incorporate some of this in some of the reflective pieces of sculpture we make, with the, where there are voids and gaps and reflections, uh, and even the leaf motif is, is a challenge, but it's absolutely inspiring. Finding our own ways of coping with this situation, um, the lockdown, uh, perhaps the, the lack of employment or work. And a very dear friend of mine who's a, an international opera singer, uh, who adores birds, bird song, um, has turned his hand to making really sweet birdhouses, nesting boxes. So something good has come out of that. I adore the bark, the patterns that the tree creates. At a, at a, at a very close up level we have, I mean there's lichen here which everybody knows is a sign of extremely clean air. Uh, it grows incredibly slowly and to have lichen anywhere infers that there is a good clean source of air. I'm really loving the light and the texture uh, that, that's created as the, as the sun moves round we're getting all the shadows on this bark. There's, there are details that your mind can, f can, can al alight on and, uh, and play with. But this tree is lovely because it's the canopy at the moment is young burgeoning growth the dappled light coming through it and the tones and the textures it's it's absolutely beautiful i try to mimic it with some of our sculptures the the ratio of void to to color to mass two years ago we had uh, the Ch our chelsea garden uh, the centrepiece of which was the Eon sculpture, a vast bronze, amorphous shape it holding in its core and its centre this burst of energy, which I liken to a grain of pollen under a microscope or the enormous moment of the Big Bang where energy is just released. These alliums have always had that appeal for me as well. They're called, the, my children call them a sort of firework plant but they are glorious in their spectacular explosion of energy those are just some of the things around my garden that inspire me and my work next time i'm going to be introducing you to my passion for sundials and the story of time and our relationship with time do keep an eye on our instagram channel for more videos news and reflections Meanwhile, wherever you are, I hope that you're keeping well, creative and inspired.